Howdy y'all, welcome into the channel. So today we're talking about the MC-21 from Gerson. This is a Turkish made firearm. Now this is a first shots and impressions. I got this out a couple times, a couple different ranges. And I just want to give you my impressions of this. Now this, I believe, is a discontinued model, so you're probably not going to find this anyway. I had a hard time finding this one. And they made another model of this, which I'll discuss in a little bit. They make some 1911s and they make a Beretta 92 clone called the Regard. This one is a little bit weird. It is very Beretta 92 in the controls, the mag release, the takedown, uh, the safety decocker, all kind of very Beretta-esque. Actually, the a lot of it is exact copy of Beretta. But the slide is a little more SIG-like, and it is a tilting barrel instead of the like the, the Beretta 92. So interesting little firearm, couple of pounds. It's an all metal gun. You do have some plastic side panels here. And before we get too far here, we'll go ahead and drop the mag. Mag is empty. Hi mag. And we'll show clear on this. Now, like I said, you do have a decocker. This is a safety decocker. So the trigger is disabled once that's on. Now this is, I don't think I mentioned this, this is nine millimeter. This holds 15 rounds, takes Smith & Wesson 59 series mags, which is also kind of odd. And it does resemble a Smith & Wesson 59 kind of in the frame down here, but a lot of it is very Beretta-esque. Now the internals, like I said, are, it's a tilting barrel design and the internals and the slide kind of remind me more of a SIG. It's a little chunky, but pretty ergonomic. Now, the non-ported version has a little more barrel flip than I thought it would for being an over two pound gun. Uh, it does just not a lot of recoil, but it wants to come up on you a little bit and because there is nobody behind this camera. But kind of angle that there. You can see that's a very high bore axis there. And that causes a little bit of muzzle flip. It's not bad, but a little bit more than I thought for how heavy this pistol is. It's a pleasure to shoot. That little bit of muzzle flip bothers me just a little bit, but all in all, it's really easy to shoot. And I will tell you, it, it, once you get past that, that first double action pull, this thing wants to run. This is a fast, fast shooting firearm. The reset is very short. So you got that little bit of take up there, hit the wall, real crisp break, reset, right there. So pretty short reset, and this firearm just wants to go, it wants to run. You do have some little serrations back here. Like I said, the grip panels are plastic. You have some serrations up front here. The controls, the decock or safety is ambi. Your slide stop is kind of tucked away into the grip there, which is really nice. Now, one thing I had a problem with here, the takedown lever, this is a little more recessed than the Beretta 92, but this takedown lever on this side, it sticks out a little bit here. And get around this way. I wanted to ride that. That's kind of where my hand naturally goes. And I kind of slowed the slide down a couple times, just getting up too high on the slide there. So I had to come up underneath it, which is a little uncomfortable, but I did get used to it. I had a couple problems with this not locking back on the last round. And I'm wondering if I didn't cause those malfunctions. So I'm gonna get this back out to the range and test that theory. Uh, but it did, it did fail to lock back on the uh, last round a couple times. You have three dot sights, just three dot white sights. They are pretty small. These are non adjustable sights. It is not optics ready. You do have a loaded chamber in indicator up, up top here. You do have some serrations on the front of the trigger guard there if you feel like getting your finger around there like that. You do have a pick rail here if you want to put a light laser or anything like that. And it is pretty ergonomic. It feels pretty good in the hand. And I had fun shooting this. I like all metal guns. I know it's a little heavy. I'm not carrying this. I did order a holster for this outside the waistband holster. 
and I picked that up just to maybe run some drills with this and just see how it performs and see how I do with it. Another thing, another con for this is there are no slides, slide serrations up front. They're only right here and they are awfully close here. In fact, when I was doing it, I did an unboxing on this about a month ago. When I was doing the unboxing, I was looking at the camera and not paying attention where my hand was. And I actually got my finger in there a little bit because the serrations come up in front there just a little far. So you kind of got to grab back here. So you're pretty much using the slingshot method, pulling from the back. You can get here, but this isn't exactly, that's a pretty good, you know, stiff recoil spring. And it's not exactly easy to rack from the bottom like that. You can't do it though. So that's a little bit of a con, uh, not optics ready, but I like shooting iron sights just fine. That's not a problem. The only other problem, like I said, was not locking back on the uh, last round a couple times, but that may have been a user-induced malfunction. So far, I've put 100 rounds of Full Metal Jacket through this. Uh, I did a mixture of Winchester 115 grain and Federal 124 grain. I also put about 10 rounds each of Winchester Silver Tip and Federal Punch through this, so it handled the hollow points just fine. I had no stoppages with the ammo, with the exception of it not locking back those couple times. Other than that, it ran everything perfectly. It's a pretty fun gun to shoot. I like a nice heavy metal, you know, pistol like this. And I, I really like hammer fired guns. So this kind of fit the bill for me. And I picked this up so, so cheap. Uh, I think originally these were around like 450, 500 ish. And I picked this up for about 275. And this was brand new. Comes with one mag, but the Smith & Wesson 59 series mags are really, really easy to find. I think Gun Mag Warehouse has them for 20 bucks, something like that, you know, $21. And they're, they're pretty plentiful. It, it's just a weird mismatch of, you know, three or four different, different firearms. Uh, the takedown is super easy. I'll show you that here in a second. And it's all very well machined. The finish is pretty nice if you can, if you can get in there and see that. It's pretty nice. It seems to be a well, pretty well constructed you know, firearm. I don't know if these are so close to the Beretta 92 grips. I don't know if they fit on here or not. I'll have to experiment with that. You do have, you know, little shorter beaver tail than, than some of the other hammer fire guns, but with this high bore axis, you're not going to get slide bite from this with that high bore axis. It's, it's going to be fine on that. All right, folks. So showing the takedown on the MC 21, this is so, so easy. Now, first off, we'll show this is clear. Nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. We have a clear firearm. You have a takedown button right here. So you depress that and you spin your takedown lever. I would hold on to your slide because there is some tension on this and it will fly off on you, but it comes apart just like that. You have recoil spring non-captured you do have a steel guide rod your tilting barrel three and a third or i'm sorry four and a third inch so almost four and a half inch you can see the machining on the inside of this is is actually really really nice they did a nice job on this it seems pretty quality putting it back together exactly the same way you took it apart recoil spring slide it on over the rails back and you're locked up one of the easiest takedowns there is kind of very beretta 92-esque it is pretty heavy but fairly smooth I measured it at about 12 and a half pounds, as it's designed to be. You want that double action trigger. I, I probably wouldn't use the safety part of the decocker. It's, it's, a, it's a 12 and a half pound trigger. I feel comfortable holstering this without the safety left on. Um, but pretty smooth trigger, pretty good. Now, a couple things I did notice on this, they make a ported version of this, and I was unable to find that model. It does have some, some ports up here, kind of where these little cutouts next to the front sight are. 
and uh, a kind of a, a lightning cut slide. I was unable to find that model. I saw one a couple of years ago, but I, I kind of didn't pick it up. I was more interested in the uh, the Regard, the Beretta 92 clone, but I found this one at a pawn shop super, super cheap, under $300. They just kept marking it down and sat there for a long time. And I reached out to e EAA and I reached out to Grisson to ask them about this model. Neither one of them really got back to me and I can't find it for sale anywhere. So my assumption is it's discontinued. Uh, so pleasure to shoot, fun little gun. I'm gonna put a bunch more rounds through this and I'll give you a follow-up report. Not that you're probably gonna find one of these, but I found it interesting and I just wanted to share with y'all. This is a, a, a pretty cool little firearm for Grisson. Not sure why they uh, discontinued it or why it's not available. I'll keep putting rounds through this and I'll give you a report just in case you ever see one of these. I would suggest if you do see one of these and you see it in the ported version, that would be the one I would go for over this. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. So that's what I got for you today, friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. All helps the channel. Don't forget to check out my campsite page. Just some affiliate links and some deals I've gathered there for y'all. And I will see you next time I make a video. Y'all stay safe out there.